Christmas time of year. Hello everyone, welcome to the vlog. I'm currently driving on my way back to Virginia from Charlotte, North Carolina, which is where my parents are currently living because they moved out of my childhood home. The trip is about six and a half hours from where I live in Northern Virginia, but usually it takes me closer to around seven once you stop for gas and I usually want to get some food sometime in there. Um, and so I anticipate spending most of the day on the road because right now it's 9.45. I ended up spending Tuesday through Saturday with my parents, which was nice and I know that they really appreciated it. Um, I really enjoyed spending my time with them. I'm also really ready to get back and sleeping in my own bed, you know, all the comforts of just, you know, being at home. I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. So there has been a wreck on the road and we are at stop and go traffic. It is currently 1130. I just passed the Virginia border um, and it looks like this traffic is going to continue for about 30 more minutes. So that's great. Um, but uh, I figured I'd pop in here and just say hello. I have been thinking a lot over the last couple of days about Vlogmas. I really just don't know, you know, I I just finished Utober, which was a lot of work and I still didn't get every single day in Utober. I mean, a lot of that had to do with the fact that um, I was in the middle of a job transition and so a lot of my like personal finance content wasn't gonna be published because I couldn't do that while I was in the middle of a job transfer because um, I didn't have an income and then also what else happened oh I started a new job and things were like kind of hectic so obviously those things have kind of settled down now but I'm still just wondering if I want to attempt vlogmas if I do vlogmas I don't think it'll be an everyday thing I think I think I planned out a content calendar two nights ago and it looked like I would have about 20 videos which still is pretty good in my personal opinion um, but we'll see um, so TBD I think I might attempt it without any promises of publishing something every day I did finalize my intro and outro which I think is really cute and I'm excited about um, I've been really getting into the seasonal intro and outros if you guys haven't noticed lately I had that really cute one for fall that I liked but anywho um <sighs> I uh, am probably gonna stop within the next hour and a half I don't quite have half a tank yet but I am at almost half a tank and that'll be a good time to fill up probably grab some lunch use the bathroom and then be on the home stretch I still have I think about four hours left <sighs> gosh I really miss I was telling my dad this morning um, he went with me to get a bagel and I told him I was like I really miss just taking the train when I'm in when I was in New York I always just took the train everywhere um, whether wherever I was going and I don't mean the subway like the actual train I just think it's such a superior form of public transportation even though it's slower in terms of actual like travel time compared to a flight I feel like with all the security check-ins that you have to do with the flight it evens out because um, you don't have to have any security you can have luggage you have all the spaciousness in a train um, I don't know I just miss that but my parents don't really live near a train station uh, so that was not an option not to mention I brought cider and I cannot bring her on the train but I do really miss traveling via train because I just felt like that was where it's at So it is currently 12.10, still sitting in traffic. I rolled the windows down so that Cider could sniff outside because it makes her happy. Um, 
yeah, I guess it was a bad accident because um, there's been two tow trucks and an ambulance that have swung by, so not good. Um, yeah, hope everyone's okay. I've been listening, I thought I'd pop on here and just say I've been listening a lot lately um, to a Crime Junkie podcast. I'm not really much of a podcaster. I used to listen to podcasts a lot more when I lived in New York and I rode the metro or the subway um, to and from work, but I haven't really been as into them lately. But then about a week ago, I started listening to Crime Junkie and I never in my entire life <laughs> understood why people liked listening to crime podcasts or crime movies or shows or anything like that. They just gave me the heebie-jeebies. But um, somebody once said recently, like, no, crime shows and media and all that, um, people like them because it lets you experience like danger from a safe distance. And I, I really resonated with that and I thought that was interesting. So I found a crime junkie and I've been listening. I've listened to probably 10 of their episodes within the last like five days. Um, and especially on this car ride, I've been listening to them. They are just really interesting. And I will say it kind of gives me the heebie-jeebies sometimes, especially when the episodes take place in DC and I, or even in New York City. And I'm like, ooh, I know where that is. Like that kind of creeps me out a little bit. But, um, but I just wanted to say, if you're looking for a podcast to listen to, Crime Junkie has been my go-to lately. The lights are bright on a Christmas tree when I've got you next to me. Snowflakes are falling, the fire is calling both of our names. Alrighty, it is 2.30. I was about to hit my third um traffic jam and i'm starving i haven't eaten anything for lunch and what else oh i need to fill up on gas so we're in the line for taco bell i'm going to grab probably a quesadilla and a baja blast because that's my typical go-to when i go to taco bell um i don't really eat a lot of fast food ever just um usually whenever i'm driving so and there wasn't a lot of options there was pizza hut taco bell and um wendy's so taco bell wins in this particular situation i'm definitely ready to be home but i have according to the gps two hours and 45 more minutes until i'm home Ugh, this route that i took has been littered with traffic accidents um which is super unfortunate but it's like really adding time to my route so yeah hey cider hi how are you good how are you i'm all right what can i do for you can i get a chicken quesadilla a medium I th uh what is it the baja blast i think is what it's called the like mountain dew drink okay there you go oh, thank you Alrighty guys, so I just got home, it is 5.30. Whew, that traffic though was gnarly. Um, I've already fed cider, so I've at least completed one task for the evening. Uh, I'm now going to um, unpack, because if I don't pa unpack right when I get home, I don't, and then it just kinda like sits there as an eyesore, so I'm gonna do that first. I'm also gonna throw up the Christmas wreath really quick on the door because I um, did not want to do that before Thanksgiving and Trey's going to come over in a little bit and I thought it'd be cute if it's already up before he comes over. I've had this same wreath for like years now. Uh, this is probably my third or fourth Christmas with it, but it does the trick so I have not felt the need to get another one. Um, but maybe, maybe one year I will. Ta-da! I think that looks pretty cute. Lays out several pieces of evidence that connection to the... For starters, you have to blow shut. So I just took my makeup off and realized that I forgot to review the movie. Love Heart is so good. I gave it an eight and a half 
rating out of 10. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that I have like my Christmas ratings for Christmas movies. And it had a lot of like really funny moments. Like I smiled, I laughed, I cringed. It was really good. So if you're looking for a Christmas movie, I would recommend it. Um, I am now going to get ready for bed because it's been a very long day. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you can be part of my vlogmas here on YouTube. I guess I'm doing vlogmas, but just not every day. Um, and stay tuned for tomorrow's vlog. I'm going to be decorating my place for Christmas. Anyways, bye.